this is gonna be kind of a short video um my store here you see they've already got the holiday stuff up down there which while they set up the halloween I mean, the christmas stuff down here or way down there and put the halloween stuff here is beyond me because at this point my store does not have any of those christmas holiday promos up we're all still on fall you know down in the south the leaves are just really starting to fall off the tree really good um matter of fact i think right around now is the time to head up to those appalachian mountains and sort of catch those leaves changing up on those hardwoods up there um but around here in the in the sand hills area uh the leaves are just now starting to fall so we got a lot of fall cleanup stuff we got some storage bins pack your stuff away the classic cinnamon broom so here's this pack out box here oh look oh let's check it out real quick so it looks like you're getting so there's two crates in here now obviously you're, they're not selling these two a two pack together this is just two crates in one box um maybe or maybe it's a couple more in there. i don't know either way that's what we got in there you got at least i think probably two crates in there uh, see so here we got of course i don't even know obviously none of these prices are are probably accurate i mean this is not even it's like they just, just toss this in here without even really caring but get the red helix twist bits and the m12 brushed kit If, I think I have the cobalt speed out. I mean, they were very situational in some cases, so sometimes I feel like I have better luck if I use an actual drill bit and drill the head of the screw out before I extract the bolt. We've got the rigid pancake compressor. Again, a lot of this stuff is set out with really no, no pricing on it. We've got the uh, framing, the Makita framing nailer that's been up since the last uh start of the last quarter and here we got some of these uh 12 inch and 10 inch um purpose or all general purpose blades they're both 40 or 40 tooth and 44 tooth uh, for the 10 inch and 12 inch respectively and i know those can get kind of expensive now this is the new rigid uh brad nailer you know they're coming out with all their you know, since they're sort of reinventing their brushless line, uh, this is the new Brad nailer. You know, they got a new, a new framing nailer um, as well. I think I got another nailer um, also. Uh, but anyway, Brad nailer. It's pretty pretty small form factor, I would say for sure. And then of course the 21 degree pneumatic framing nailer. From DeWalt. So we're here. Um, this is some of the pictures I took uh, a couple days ago or last week or so. Showed these in the boxes. This is going to be your three pack 100 lumen headlamp, three pack flashlight. You got some other flashlights here. Looks like you got a work light with a crank. Was well, it not a crank? No, it's just a stand. Never mind. You're pretty neat if it had a little crank on it but it doesn't and then the from the fine here you got a portable drawer safe uh i guess if you could secure it to something with that cable it might be worth it but i mean at this point uh, i understand the security of these but at this point somebody could just like just take that I mean, if it's not secured or, you know, and just open it somewhere else. Um, just my two cents on that. Uh, here we got the, I, I, I feel pretty uh, confident in saying this is not going to be the sale price. But here we got the the new, these are not the max output. These are just the regular 4 amp hour rigid batteries. Um, I'm thinking maybe you figured the, the high output 3 amp hour Milwaukee batteries. Or $99 usually 
a couple times a year, including the holidays. I just don't see these. I think these are going to go down maybe 129. I'd be surprised if they were 99, but I doubt it. I see this is the, it's like a newer shot back that Ridgeland's come out with. It happens my first time seeing it. Then we got these uh, Husky organizers, um, 1488. I'm pretty sure this is gonna go down. Usually what they'll do is they'll come and slap a sticker over it. Um, the Husky 24 inch toolbox. Uh, you know, these aren't weather protected. I mean, if they, they're gonna keep some of the elements out, but they're not, I would not, that's not gonna be a waterproof uh, box. They're doing something a little interesting this year. Uh, last year, they had the Husky brand ratchet straps. Um, these are the Everbuilt. Uh, these are not going to be as high quality as those Husky ones. Those were, you know, the red and or, or excuse me, red and black, and they were, uh, I think, a, they were an inch, but they seem like these don't. These seem kind of chintzy. But anyway four pack just like last year although i think last year they were a couple dollars more but the quality i've had a brand new pack of straps two of the straps failed on a load on the road and i ended up losing some uh freight or some items um it's not pretty don't cheap out on your straps use use these with caution uh so i'm gonna say about that i mean a 6088 it's a pretty good pretty good buy but just be just be cautious and do not approach the 300 pound uh, working limit on that. Um, and we got some more Husky lights here. These are some higher lumen uh, than those coast ones down there or defiant ones, whichever ones those were. I have not used any of these Husky lights before, but I'm sure the quality is okay. As for the first time we're seeing this recovery strap, if you don't have one of these, get one, get two. I don't want to see if we can find the price out on these. But I've, I have had one for probably 10 years, and it still works just fine. I've pulled over, I've pulled concrete slabs with it. I've pulled stuck vehicles with it. Um, some guy was buried in the mud and flagged me down on the side of the road, and I pulled over and, and just and yanked him out. Um, these nylon straps, uh, you know, for their size and weight compared to a metal chain, uh, the towing capacity is, I mean, the weight, what this can handle is about the same. And it's so much lighter. Uh, you just throw that in the back and you know, you're good to go. And here we got some Milwaukee stuff here. It's probably from the last, uh, which one call it? Yeah, I'll say there's $25 for this strap. Um, and back again this year we've got the big daddy two inch heavy duty three thousand plus pound strap you know 997 i saw these go as cheap as six bucks i believe last year but anyway even at um, 997 it's not a bad uh bad price and see this is what they did instead of going with the the husky ratcheting they went with these cam uh cam buckles uh these have their place they're okay um you know, as long as you secure that extra bit of rope that comes out of here, um, it should be okay for most stuff. But what you'll find is that rope will start to come out of this this uh, buckle a little bit, and it'll start to have a loose a loose load. So there's that. All right, these are these Bessie. Well, these are a little better quality than I thought. These are nice heavy duty buckles here. Uh, oh, excuse me, not buckles. I'm not cam buckles. Uh, these are the clutch these are his clutch bar clamps you know you can you loosen this up and you can loosen this uh, this piece here off this bar and when you get it tight up on your workpiece you then use this to clamp it and add a little bit extra clamping force to it and you just keep on until it's really tight this is uh so you get a six inch and a 12 inch uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this for sure, especially if you have somebody who's always looking for a clamp. Don't know. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, yeah. So, 19, 
99 from the 2497. Definitely wait for those to go down. But anyway, I just wanted to get here real quick and throw up a quick video uh, just so they're starting to kind of sort of unbox some of those boxes they had down here in the center aisle. Slowly but surely they're getting some stuff in. That um, battery deal that Home Depot always does every year, you get like 40 batteries on it for like six bucks. That sold out. The whole display went on the first day they opened it. Luckily, I was here and I was able to get a pack of AA and triple A's. And here's those hoses. They move down here. Here's a $99 hose reel. It will probably go cheaper than that, as we saw. These prices are pre-sale prices. And here's a nice little Husky inflator. You got a 12 volt and 120 volt. It'd be nice if you could interchange them, but you either get one or the other, not both. Um, definitely probably recommend this one, just because you're probably gonna have this in your car. And if you're at home, you probably already have one. I hear those crescent pliers we saw. Um, looks like these are new. Sort of a rebranded, you know, re-imaged uh, crescent brand. Again, I doubt these are going to be $20. <laughs> it's kind of steep for these. Uh, I imagine... I these are probably going to go down to 15 maybe this one to 18 and here we got the adjustable wrench your the, the quintessential crescent wrench the original as it says uh we got 10 inch and a six inch 23 dollars like i said it's probably going to go down most of these prices will probably go down and you got this uh crescent whisk i did have a pair of scissors in these before they did work really really well for a while and then I went to cut a zip tie and it just sh shattered apart in my hand that the blade broke off and everything. And I almost sliced my hand wide open. Uh, I got the Bosch, look, uh, you know, do it all laser level. Got the horizontal, vertical, square layout in manual mode. Probably gonna go cheaper, don't know how much. Is it your Zircon stud sensor? I uh, always have good luck with these. Every time I need to use one, it's always been pretty accurate. Or it gets me close enough anyway. Uh, Alright, so that was it. Um, still got a couple of these previous promos up. Of course, they, now they've increased the price of some of them already again. Again, don't buy that brushed recip. It's just tool only. Right now, you can hack that M12 and get pretty much the same power or if not more power than this for $129. I think you can get that for $94 right now with a charger, I believe a bag and the four amp hour battery. Do not, do not get that at this price. Anyway, uh, I'll be, uh, we'll be coming back in here as the weeks roll on. This is the this this season as they say they're gonna be getting some more items they're gonna start unveiling some more stuff i know depending on you know where you are in the country you're probably getting probably seeing some of these some more holiday displays uh you know your fall season kind of comes pretty quick where it's hot and then all of a sudden you get a cold snap and next thing you know you're in the 30s and you got snow uh i don't know that we'll ever get snow this year and if we do we usually get it uh in february uh that's when we usually get to know anyway we'll check it out again see what they got all right we'll see here see look why this is here unless unless this hook is different i'm gonna check in the clearance section out unless this hook is different this is a 756 so why would you pay almost not ten dollars for one up there we got the, high, the, the Makita high torque, some nails, some screws. Nothing really to uh, nothing really to tickle anybody's fancy, really. To be honest with you, we could have hacked these last year forever. 
Uh, you, you had plenty of time, I think more than one opportunity to get either one you wanted. Here yeah, we got a loan to system box. That really didn't come off the price of it at all, really, to be honest with you, it's still 65 bucks. Uh, it's been sitting here for quite a while. Anyway, I just wanted to come check out the, uh, these right here. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, this is the last one of these. Okay. This headlamp right here, it kind of came out with not much gusto, but I really like it. Really like this headlamp. Uh, it's USB rechargeable. You can't take any batteries out of it, but I've used it for a couple nights in a row outside with the kids carving pumpkins. I'm still working on mine, but I've yet to have to recharge it. You've got your dual mode, you've got your flood, and you've got your spot, and you can use them together. Oh, there we go. There's the dual mode, and here's the spot mode. You get a high, medium, and low, versus you get a high and a medium, or a medium and a low, and this is the flood. So you get two modes each. So really, you get a few modes. It's really comfortable, especially compared to this. Before, this was your only option. This is the smallest red lithium USB rechargeable headlamp that they had. And you can wear this on your head, but after a while, it got really uncomfortable. And not even that long, just a few minutes. Because it's really meant for a hard hat. It comes with all your straps. Uh, even though this one does too, this is more of the form factor and the fit that you get with a the regular headlamps that run off of uh, AAA batteries. But this one also detaches. Which, which is real handy if you're, I mean, you're so, this is so much more of a versatile light and it's cheaper than this. And you're really not sacrificing that many lumens, 450 lumens versus 475. This may offer more runtime, but probably not much. Uh, I guess I have yet to even run this down into the, into the amber color. Cause on the side where you charge it, there's, you got the little light similar to the flashlight and it'll illuminate amber or green to let you know and then red if it's getting if it's dead of course amber when it's i guess 50 percent or lower in power and then green when it's still you know you got enough juice in it but i can't recommend this light enough this was on this is third quarter promo item display item they've got it out here in the back it was 49 dollars um they must have brought took it back i think it was 49 but now it's 59 but uh again i can't recommend this enough and they've also got a handheld flashlight that's similar uh you know you don't really want to carry around you know the pin light might not be enough and then that new uh 700 lumen uh, red lithium usb flashlight is too much uh well they've got a smaller version of that flashlight this usb rechargeable meaning you can't take the battery out um but you know the battery to me i guess i have not yet to have to recharge this and i've used it several nights in a row you can take this off it's a really strong magnet it doesn't come off easily you can mount it mount it here mount it there you know you can use it if you got a golf cart you mount it to the golf cart and next thing you know you got an extra headlight uh really the the, the the uses are almost unlimited and so much more versatile compared to this unless you need this for you know you have a hard hat or you have to wear a hard hat in certain areas definitely um can't recommend it enough and then we got the oldie goldie hammer drill 80 80 bucks uh 797 for the 10 piece uh, I think, think the deal they had last year was a little better. You got more bits, but I think I still think it was nine ninety seven. But I think you got up. I think you got at least a half inch uh, bit in here. And this one you're only getting a five sixteenth. And I think it might have been fourteen piece. I think. All right, geez, I'm about to see. I'm just keep going down the rabbit hole down here. Here we got these new gear wrench. 90 tooth ratchets, really clean with the comfort sport grip. I'm gonna twist it. 
I guess they got it locked in there where you can't twist it. I was about to listen to it click. But anyway, you got a three eighths, a uh, quarter inch and half inch. It really feels like a good, nice little grip. And I like this polished head, low clearance. You know, it's not tiny, but it's, I've definitely seen a lot bigger. Uh, like this oldie goldy Husky here. Um, looks like the clearance is probably about the same on this not this uh, hunter tooth ratchet. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next visit, probably next week. Hopefully, they got some more stuff for us to look at.